I'm Jeff. We're here at Bike Room, North Vancouver. I'm here to show you how to maintain and service your Easton Vault hubs. Here I'm going to show you how to remove and install your Easton Vault end caps. First, you want to remove the end caps. Try by hand. If you can't get them by hand, use a rubber glove or soft jaws. And if they're really stuck, use a blind bearing puller. Get them off of there. For dirty hubs or used hubs, you want to make sure that you remove this little seal in here, clean it, and make sure you clean the surface of the bearing before you reinstall. Get that in there nice. And then we always want to make sure that the longer end cap goes on the disc side. Ready to ride. Here I'm going to show you how to remove, replace, and install your Eason Vault free up bodies. First, what you want to do is you want to remove your old free up body. Uh, you do this by first just pulling them on by hand. Should pop off nicely. If you can't get it off, use a soft jaw or a blind bearing puller. Sometimes a rubber glove on there will help. Remove the free up body. Make sure that you get this little washer out of there as well. Comes off. Bam. Sometimes it gets stuck to the underside here. Make sure you note that. When you're reinstalling your free up bodies, make sure that you apply a light thin grease to your drive ring. And for caps with a seal, you want to use a light grease there. But for caps without a seal, you want to use a nice waterproof grease. Let's get a little bit on there. When you go to reinstall this, you want to make sure that you get your spacer on there first. And when you put your Freya body on, get it down nicely. And you just want to rotate it counterclockwise to get it to pop down. Pop on your end cap. Remove any excess grease and you're ready to ride.